So since the end of Cold War, the number of armed forces of the, in the European countries decreased <laughs> by 2.5 times from 3.4 million uh, troops in 1989 to 1.3 million troops in 2022. Now, as we know, Poland is having conscriptions. The Minister of National Defense of Poland wants to double the number of reserv reservists to 200,000 people for military exercises. Germany is preparing for a long-term confrontation with Russia. UK, same story. NATO is doing the trainings with the anonymous attacker who is read Russia. So it, funny, right? It's hilarious, the whole script. But here I would like to know as someone who really is not an expert, and that's why I bring guests of your caliber to understand this. Is all of this created just to three things I see? Create another reset like they usually do, the bankers, World War I, World War II, so we're gonna reset this all. Second, is it to create fear to control the populations of those countries. And third, is it another wonderful opportunity, excuse my language, to suck up the resources, money, and just corruption? What is the reason? Is there ever even going to be any conflict? Or this is just like the boiling pot for nothing? Well, I, I, I would like to believe that it was part of a plan, that, that something this stupid was actually planned. But uh, I, I think there's an enormous element of people looking at a very short-term picture and reacting. What was particularly telling is when uh, the United Kingdom recently proposed an expeditionary force. We'll send an expeditionary force to save, save Ukraine. You know, I, I have correctly compared the British military to a, a bedraggled, you know, that means uh, someone that's a disheveled dog, a little poodle with no hair, no teeth, and uh, a bark that can't bite. That's Great Britain right now. And, and they're, they're going to go on the attack? Good luck with that, guys. They can't even get their aircraft carriers out of port without oh, them breaking God, down. Yeah, down below. Yeah, yeah, I know. The other, you know, three weeks ago, <laughs> two, of their, two of their minesweepers run into each other. I, I, I mean, this, this is they. The British military have become Monty Python wearing uniforms. Okay, they're a comedy team. They and and what is shocking in all of this is that they genuinely believe that they represent something of a threat. The only threat they represent is to themselves. I mean, I had a, I have a good friend here in the States, but he's, he's British by birth. He was a member of the Special Air Service, SAS, you, you know, some, some years back. And, and he sent me this scathing denunciation of what's going on in the UK uh, using some uh, very colorful British slang that have four letters that you know can't can't repeat in polite company in reference to it. So what you see transpiring throughout Europe is these people are delusional. But what would you expect out of governments that believe and accept the notion that well a man can declare himself to be a woman and they're a woman, and men can have babies and breastfeed. So. When, when you've got this kind of mass delusion going on across society, this nonsense about the military is just one more example of the craziness. I'll let Andre finish up on. Yeah, I agree. But, uh, Anya, what you said also to a degree is correct because what we observe here, uh, their industrial capitalism is being killed both in, uh, you know, and again, I'm repeating here, that that's not my thoughts. Michael Hudson, incomparable Michael Hudson, uh, wrote about it with super imperialism and killing the host. Financial capitalism, the ability to make, you know, those financial legitimate and add zeros on the Wall Street while producing absolutely nothing. Yeah. 
Right. It killed elites, it killed people, it killed the mechanism which was developing the statesmen. And as a result, as Larry correctly stated, they believe their own BS, so to speak, you know. And you have people, indeed, you have an Alina bear box with 360 degrees. <laughs> 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 or Trust, who, uh, who wants to fight for the independence of Voronish, area, you know, ancient Voronish Oblast in Russia. So you have those people, they are delusional. And when you look at Antony, you're absolutely correct. They try to do this thing, you know, to kind of bark and to do this, you know, wizard of all thing. Bundeswehr, I made a video yesterday when I was collecting about the uh, how Russians, uh, you know, correlation of forces and, you know, and means. And Bundeswehr in the 80s, uh, Soviets, you know, re Soviet army respected Bundeswehr. It was a very serious force, competent. Now you look at them, yeah, it's, uh, well, if Monty Python famous dancing, you know, uh, which is, of course, one of the greatest skits from Mighty Monty Python. But then you have Bundeswehr. They have, like, what, 80 planes ready to fly in Luftwaffe. And guess what? Uh, they will have probably 40 by the next year. And then the United States will shove down their throats. Guess what? F-35. Do you know what it means? The end of their aerospace, combat aerospace in Europe. <laughs> That's simple as that. Yeah. Don't, don't look at those Rafales and everything. Uh, French cannot produce them. Uh, I mean, they, you can count them on, you know, uh, fingers of one hand, how many they produce a year. So there you go. Everything is just, yeah, Ministry of City Walk <laughs> it also comes. But no, I mean, it's a rank, a rank and file dancing, you know. So it's, yeah. It's unbelievable, but they do this half and puff, you know, and things of this nature. But we have, of course, now we have dual, so to speak, uh, seal on that, which is, of course, Russia's nuclear arsenal, and now proven a uh, total domination of the conventional battlefield against the best NATO proxy ever. In fact, is by extension, the SU, armed forces of Ukraine, were essentially a NATO force. It was never hidden that. NATO trained them, equipped them, and there you go. And right. guess what? We know what happened. You know, and the, 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 mm -hmm. the, yeah. the, the other thing that's going on here is you, the, the, the economic system, both in Europe and the United States, is predicated in large measure on having an external enemy that is used to justify these in, enormous expenditures on defense infrastructure that doesn't work. Yeah, I mean, the, the F-35 is one of the biggest boondoggles in the history of boondoggles. Uh, yep. It's a very expensive <clears throat> aircraft to operate. It's not a reliable aircraft to operate in combat conditions. And and yet, uh, they're, they're, that's becoming, quote, the standard. So you remember back when, when the Soviet Union fell, the, the U.S. defense and intelligence community was really in a quandary. They're looking around and saying, oh, well. Where, where's the enemy? Where is the enemy? Well, we got, and they didn't really want to take terrorism seriously at that time. I was I was downsized when I was at State Department in '93 because it's ah, a terrorist threat. That's you know that's passe as well. And I'm not, I'm not suggesting it was a great threat, but it took until 2001 when all of a sudden terrorism became the organizing principle. Why? Well, because Russia wasn't a military threat and China wasn't a military threat, and they couldn't gin them up in order to justify, hey, we need to increase our, our defense budget. we got to go up another 10 15%, 20%. And so go back to like 1991, 92, the defense, U.S. defense budget was like $240 billion, $250 billion. Now it's approaching $900 billion. And yet the United States has fewer troops, fewer ships, a lot more officers, by God. That's one thing we're really good at producing, lots of officers. And so when you got all these officers, they got to have something to do. What are, one of the one things they do, hey, we're going to conduct our annual military exercise with Russia as the secret enemy, Operation you know, Steadfast Resolve or whatever this nonsense is that's currently underway. And so it, it's, it's a self-licking ice cream cone. It's not based upon strategy at all. 